Monday morning, eight o'clock. It's not very nice outside, but it's dry inside. Say hi if you're joining me for this morning's workout. Um, we'll get warmed up. Just 20 minute workout to get you motivated for the week ahead. We're going to do a little bit of arms and abs today, but a bit of everything. So do join me if there's any exercises you can't do. Um, listen to your body. I'll try and give you different options for everything. Okay, so we'll get warmed up to begin with. Breathing deep. Give your arms a circle. Thank you for joining me if you are here. Don't forget to leave a comment. It's interesting. I can't read them all as the, as, um, the comments are coming up. I can't see who's doing the workout with me because my eyesight's not great and I'm doing it on my phone. Okay, but I will say hi afterwards. Just step in side to side, get a bit of deep breath going on. Lift those elbows. You know that after about five minutes, those endorphins will kick in and you'll feel great. So make the effort, shift your body, get it moving. You know you'll thank me and feel better for it. Okay, we're gonna take it to reaching down, lifting your knees up nice and high, punch the sky. Good work. And take it into a little bit of a jog on the spot. Dog's barking in the background. Skews the dog. <laughs> and just punching it forward. Good, and take your heels to your bum. You've got to get the full body warmed up. Raise that body temperature so your muscles are nice and warm before we go to the main workout. Okay, we'll have a little bit of a twist here. Twisting round from side to side, reach out. Make sure you're turning your hips and pivoting on that foot. Make sure your feet aren't stuck to the floor. Good, reach it out for three, two, one. Great, okay, as always, we're gonna do five exercises. Um, 40 seconds of each and three rounds. Okay, so first we're gonna start with da, 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 press ups. Oof, don't switch off, don't switch off. Okay, so press ups, you can do them on the floor, you can do them on your toes, you can do them on your knees, you can do them on the edge of the settee. I'm pretending I've got an edge of the settee here. Work top, tables, there's no excuse, you can do them. Chest press ups, you're taking your hands nice and wide. Okay, let's do this, body level, 40 seconds of them. Let's go. Pushing them out. Whoa, this is my first press up of the week. Okay, feel those muscles. They're waking up even more now. Breathe deep. Yes, press ups are hard, but they're worth it. It's because they're working so many muscles all in one move. That's what makes them great. So don't think of them as a horrible hard exercise. Think of them as a great exercise that's really working your body. We've only got a couple more of them. Breathe out, press up. Last one. Oosh. They should have warmed you up. Okay. Give your shoulders a roll. Next exercise, we're going to do star jumps here. If you've got some light weight, you can use those for your star jumps. Varying speeds. Option is your half stars. If you don't want to put for a lower impact version, Otherwise, we're doing the full ones. Let's go. I think I put these in last. Did I put these in last week and do weird star jumps? I did a bit bouncy star jumps, didn't I? I'm sticking to these. Great for your arms and your legs, star jumps. Good, keep breathing. And they do get your heart rate up. Just a love a star jump. I keep putting them in, don't I? I love them. Good, last couple of seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Okay, we're slowing it down now. Press up, um, not press ups, we've done those. We're not doing two rounds of them. Okay, dips. So using a chair um, or a bench. You don't need something, you can't do the on the floor. Okay, shoulders back. Tummy pulled in, you're bending and pressing. Good, now if you keep your feet nice and close, you should be able to get a good bend. If you feel really easy, 
while you're doing them here then take your feet out you should feel these down the back of your arms just watch your elbows are going back oh i'm bringing my feet in a bit <laughs> challenge yourself or oh, if i've taken that i need to carry on don't i whoa we've got 10 seconds squeeze and breathe now your triceps are a smaller muscle so they're going to tire a lot quicker last one oh i felt those give your arms a shape should have done the star jumps then actually okay Give your shoulders a roll. Okay, use it. You can do these on the floor, mountain climbers, with a twist. Um, you can do them on the floor, edge of the settee, table, whatever. Personally, I think when you're slightly raised, you get a better twist. Hands under your shoulders. Let's go. Elbow to opposite knee. So you think about keeping those arms strong. So you're working your shoulders, but also you're going for this twist. So you're working your abs and your hips. Go for that twist, watch that your bum's staying down all the time and that your arms aren't sinking back. Don't end up in that position. Okay, keep your shoulders above your hands, keep them nice and low. Go for that twist, 10 more seconds. Whew. Good, last three, two, one. Oh, nice, okay, last one. We're gonna do crunches. Hey. You can keep your feet on the floor or you can put them on the edge of the settee if you wish, which I might do actually for a change. Okay, feet on or off the floor, arms above your head, reaching through to your knees, through your knees, sorry. So lift your chin, squeeze your abs as you're rising. You don't have to do these with your feet up, just lay on the floor. Good, remember you're aiming to squeeze your ribs to your hips, you're not aiming to come up too high, it's the squeeze, so reaching forward. 10 more seconds here. Good, give them a good squeeze. Last one. Oh, got carried away in crunch heaven then. Well done, okay. One day I'll get up gracefully. I don't know when that day will be. Okay, we're back to the top again. Move them out of the way. We're starting with press ups. Knees or toes, floors, floor or not, hands wide. Let's go. Push them out there. So as well as using your hands, make sure you're squeezing your chest. Make sure you're pushing through your abs. Pull your abs in. Use your full body for the press on these ones. Keep breathing. Breathe out and try and keep that head still. I know I keep moving my arm around. It's just so I can turn around to see that you're all doing them right. That you're not stopped. We'll do two more. Last one. Oof. Ooh, okay. I feel these exercises just as much as anybody else, trust me. Okay, give me shoulder roll. We're on to star jumps next. This feels like a welcome break, this one. Okay, let's go 40 seconds. Each to their own. Some people may find press ups easy and the star jumps harder. Usually, the exercises that you find harder are the ones you really should work on. But you might not because they feel really hard. Give them a go. Whatever your most challenging move is, keep practicing it. Good work. Five more seconds here. Breathe deep. Two, one. Ooh, okay, dips. So whether, wherever it, I don't know what I'm talking about. Wherever you are, you should need be on the side somewhere. Could you use a couple, the bottom step or second step up as well for these, if you're near a staircase. Okay, shoulder back. Let's go, squeeze them out. Good, remember elbows going back. Keep them in. 
push through your hands again. Your fingers should be pointing forward on these ones and try and keep your hips back so you're not pushing out here. Just keep them going, squeeze. You should feel those down the back of your arm, in your shoulders. Keep them going. Whoa, feeling challenging now. You've got less than 10 seconds. Come on, grit your teeth, push through it. Last couple. And last one. Let's make it a good one. I think I make sound effects um, when things are feeling hard on the last couple of reps. Okay, what are we on to now? Mountain climbers. Give your shoulders a bit of a run. I'll move the mat, so probably slip on it. Don't want to give you that entertainment. Hands under your shoulders, hips low. Let's go, twist it round. Good, turn those hips, keeping your arms strong. Good, keep going. I'm doing all these workouts with no weights because I'm aware that not everybody has got weight. So I'm trying to keep them all pretty much the best body weight exercises to do. You can, of course, add weights if you want to. Last three of these, two, one. Not necessarily to that exercise. Can't add weights into mountain climbers. Okay, crunches. Feet on the floor. Gonna move this outside on the floor, or you can raise them if you want to. Shoulders back, arms strong, reaching through. Off you go. Good. So lifting through your shoulders and your chin, lifting your chin, keeping these arms clasped together and strong. Reach through. Reach nice and low with your arms. Good squeeze. Good. Give them a really good squeeze. 10 more seconds of these. Has that adrenaline kicked in yet? It should have done by now. Breathe through it. Good, last one. Well done. We've got one more round now. I'm never going to do that graceful transition. Okay, we've got one more round. Last round, always give your best to what we're doing. What are we starting with? Oh, we're starting with press-ups. Get, get the thing, I was delayed then. Hands wide. Come on team, let's push through this last 40 seconds of press-ups. Everything going, everything working. Challenge yourself to finish and finish strong. Keep it all strong. Strong abs, strong legs, strong arms. Oh, keep them going. I'm feeling these as well. I'm going to stay on my toes. If you're on your toes, still your toes for those last couple. Add one more. Oh, that was a Bit of a grunt there on the last one. <laughs> Grunting sometimes helps you get through those last few, you know. There's a reason those power lifters grunt when they're lifting. Okay, star jumps, are you ready? Off we go. Good stuff. Remember, half stars is the option here. If you're doing a low impact version, Otherwise, keep those arms nice and strong. Keep smiling. Keep going. Whew. Good. Ten more seconds here. Good work, everyone. Last three, two, one. Oh, well done. They're my favourite ones. Which ones are your favourite? Okay. Dips. But these are probably my least favourite. But they're a good tricep exercise without any using any weight. Okay. Are we ready? Shoulders back. Oh, we're committed now. Once you've started, you're committed to going. Make that 
commitment to yourself to continue. Breathe out, push up. Maybe it's feeling too easy here, take your legs out. I'm finding these really challenging today. So I'm keeping my feet exactly where they are. I'm not taking them out again. Whoa, but I am feeling challenged. 10 seconds here. Let's go for it. Let's do two more. Squeeze. Last one. Whoa, I'm glad to get those out of the way. Good. Give your arms a shake. Mountain climbers and crunches to finish. Let's do this. Okay, nice and strong. With the hands, hands directly under your shoulders on these ones. Hips down. Let's go with a twist. Good, twist and turn it. I'm going quiet now and concentrating. I don't want to put you off. Stay in that zone, stay in that focus zone. Less than 10 seconds here. Good, I'm strong, I'm strong. Last two, last one. Whew, well done, you might get a bit of sweat on doing those. When you're in that position, all the sweat runs to your face. Might just be me, okay. No, I know it's not me, not just me. Crunches to finish this round. Whew. Are we ready? Give it your best. Let's go. Squeeze it. Breathe. Keep those arms strong. Oh, I'm making some funny noises. I do apologize. Good, breathe deep. You might not hear me. You might be making funny noises of your own. Good, good squeeze. Ribs to hips. Got 10 more seconds here. Are you doing your very best? Are you finishing on your finest? Last two. Let's do one more. And rest it there. Whew, good stuff. Okay, shall we do a little bit of a challenge move to finish? Yeah. Okay, we'll do plank. Did we do plank last time? We might have done. I apologise. We're doing it again today. Plank's great for your arms and your abs. That's why I thought I would put it in. So, knees or toes. Gonna hold a plank. And oh yeah, I did put it in last time. I just remember. Never mind, you should have you should be better this time. Okay, so elbows under your shoulders, we're going to hold it and we're going to do various moves. Two minute plank to finish. Let's go. Okay, knees or toes. If you're doing it on your knees, you won't be able to do the tap outs with the feet, but you can just hold it there and you'll be able to do the other ones. Okay, keep breathing. Make sure your shoulders are braced. Your back is strong. Your abs are strong. Just go through your body, check that every single muscle from your heel, through your legs, through your hips, right to your shoulders is strong. Okay, from here we're going to tap out if you're on your toes. I always think adding a little bit of a movement to a plank adds just a little bit of entertainment to holding it. Because it's so boring holding a plank, if you do feel it in your lower back, drop your knees. Good, keep those taps going and hold it there. Okay, oh, breathe deep. We're gonna take it to next 30 seconds. We're gonna punch it out. So punching forward. If you're on your knees, you can do these as well. You will feel them, they're still hard doing these on your knees. Okay, or stick to your toes. Try and keep your hips still. Got another 10 seconds here. And then we're gonna hold it for the last 20 seconds. Just hold it nice and still. Breathe deep, remember, pull it in. Scan your body, check that everything's held strong. Last few seconds, last three, two, one. And rest it there. Oh, sweating now. Okay. Have a little bit of a lower back 
back stretch. I'm sorry, it wasn't until I got into plank position that I realised we didn't we did the plank at the end of last week's. I will do something else next week, I promise. Okay, stretch out those arms. Sink your hips down. Breathe deeply. Okay, slowly rolling up here. We'll take one foot in front of the other. Push into your hip. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling glad you did a Monday morning workout? Push your arms forward here. God, I am actually dripping with sweat here. And switch on to the sides. Think about exercising indoors. You kind of underestimate how warm you're going to get. Especially if you're doing it at home and you've got carpets and care curtains and no air conditioning. Um, you might find it a little bit warmer than if you was in a gym. Okay, slowly onto your feet there. We'll have a little bit of a hamstring stretch here. Keeping your shoulders back, you can reach down if you want to. I know we haven't done too much leg work, but um, it's good to have a stretch while your, muscle, your leg muscles will still be warm. So it's good to have a stretch while we're doing those. Great, okay, give your shoulders a roll. I'll just move this fat out the way. Give your shoulders, roll your arms and legs a bit of a shake. We'll finish with a stretch and a reach. Reaching down, big breath in. I will do it two more times, breathing out. Big breath in. And for the final time, breathing out. Big stretch, big breath in. Stretch to your fingertips. And then slowly breathe out. As you bring your arms down. Well done, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning. I would say on this beautiful morning, it's going to be a great day, whatever. The day is what you make it. And if you've done your exercise, hopefully you'll have some good endorphins flowing through your body that will continue for the rest of the day. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.